So, Diogo Jota or the 84 times 30 pack? That is the question we are going to answer today in today's video. Guys, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel. We're going to go crazy in EAFC. Let's go and put Jota into a team and see how good he is. So, I've actually done a bit of research for this video on the chemistry style to put on him. So, this card's very interesting, right? First of all, he's coming with a five star, five star, which is amazing. He's got great shooting stats. He's got great pace and dribbling with okay passing and okay physical for this stage of the game. He's got the power header trait. He is, you know, he, he's not the tallest at 5'10", but he should win a lot in the air, dependent on his jump. And I can't remember what it is. I'm hoping it's 99. That will be quite nice. His alternate positions are nice as well. Comes out as a striker, can play centre forward, and also can play left wing. As you go into the in-games, he's got a really good pace split. More acceleration and sprint speed is always what you need. Shooting is incredible with max out 99 attack positioning. Good finishing shot power. Outside of that, long shots and volleys a little bit low, so we might have to try a few power shots and see how they are with him. His passing is good for a striker as well, with good vision, good short pass, okay long pass, and good curve, considering he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. His dribbling stats are where this card really does come into his own, though. His dribbling stats are amazing. Absolutely insane across the board there. Probably don't need to boost him in the chemistry style. You can also play defensively as well if you want him in that box-to-box -box role. And he's also got 93 jumping with that 99 header accuracy and the power header trait. He's got okay strength, good stamina, and really, really good aggression. Your chem styles for this card are whatever you really want. You can go for a Hawk, you can go for a Finisher, you can go for a Maestro, you can go for a Marksman. Whatever really suits you, it really is up to you. And for me personally, the way I want to play with this card, I'm actually going to go for a Deadeye. Now, the reason I like the Deadeye on this card, first of all, is if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know... That 5-star, five 5-star five star is something I really value in the middle cam role. Diogo Jota can play that role, but he needs a passing boost to be able to play it correctly. So he's got 98 vision now and 99 short pass with 95 curve. Of course, goes up to 99 finishing here as well and shot power with 94 long shots. I like the Deadeye to be able to play this card at cam and striker. You know, you can play him in either or with this chem style. I'm actually going to play him at striker and then move him down into cam if I feel like I want to. And yeah, this is the team we are using. He's up front alongside Kylian Mbappe with Joe Cole in behind. Let's get into a few games and see if he's worth it over the 84 times 30. Nice, Mbappe looks for Jota. Jota, what a turn! What a turn that is from Diogo Jota there. Jota, oh, doesn't have the strength there against Kunde. That Kunde is a joke. Jota again. Oh, how's that gone in? What a finish that is from Diogo Jota there. Oh, tackle that is from Kamavinga. Jota just doesn't have the strength there, does he? Got the ball here, I think he's offside. He's not, and he's done really well strength-wise there. Have we not got a corner out of that? That's crazy. Oh, hold on. No, wrong. Skill move game. So we've got another chance here. Jota's in. Jota scores. Nice finish. All right, then, guys. So the first live game you're going to see with him, we've already got together a few highlights. Um, so... Yeah, Jota, interesting. And this guy's a sweat, which is lovely. And before we get into the video as well, guys, um, I know I look a, like a bit of a mong at the moment. I do apologize. Um, I'm trying to grow out my hair so I can have a man bun. So it's, it's not far away. That'll be fixed very, 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 very soon, okay? With that being said though, Jota is here. Let's test out the man. Nice from Modric there. Jota, all strength, nice. Ooh. Okay, Bobby Carlos, mate. There's no need to do that, is there? Right, Diego Jota. Bounce it. Bang it. Oh, never mind. He was out with Crow so quickly there. What's he doing? Oh. I hate when the ball goes out in them situations. You're not looking for it to go out. You just want to keep the ball in, in play all the time. And maybe that's just me. I just need the ball in play all the time. So if I lose momentum at all, what the hell just happened there to Canate? Oh, man, I don't know what I've just seen. Oh, honestly, I don't know what I've just seen. Right, let's try him in the air. Did try and get him in the air a few times, but not too much luck, and he's not going to do anything there against Virgil. Oh, Cherokee, you are awful, buddy. Jota, that's lovely. Gonna have to go into him PayPal. Gonna go back into Jota too, though. Jota does really well. Bit of arm on dribbling. Should be a penalty, that. That should be a penalty. I didn't think he got any of the ball there. Let's let me know in the comment section down below. Oh! <gasps> I got some of the ball there, though. What is wrong with this game? I swear now, when you come up against the good players, like, the game just goes stupid. It just actually goes silly. 
Oh, this is liquid. Oh, let it go. Oh, what a goal that is. What a goal. What a quick turnaround that is. And what a finish from Jota as well. He made the run there, guys. It was all about that run that he made. I saw it really, really early. And I thought, okay, let's do a bit of ticky-ticky here. And see what we can do with it. That's a lovely play. A lovely goal as well. That's really unlucky from Jota. His arm on dribbling feels unbelievable. Um, I have to say. Canate, you've got to get to that, buddy. Kunde's going all the way with you, buddy. Oh, I'm saying buddy a lot. Oh, good goal. Good goal, good goal. Unfortunate goal, but I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stick to his level. I'm not gonna do what he just done. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. That's basically me saying like, I don't know how to do that um kickoff glitch. I'm I'm not in the know anymore, boys. I used to be a pro player, I used to know everything about the game. I do know an awful lot about it still. Um, but just not the uh, broken mechanics anymore, really. I've no Trevellis. She served me so well. Oh, Jota. Finish, finish. I bottled that first time around, but really good finish in the end. Bit of a finesse shot there. Dirty, toxic man, bro. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh, I want dribbling. Nice. Jota, on the ball. He's on the ball. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh. What did he just do to him there? Oh my god, that is proper unlucky, that. I'm sure he just megged Virgil. I'm sure he did. He might have to slow-mo that. I'm not too sure. Watch that in slow-mo and let me know if I did meg him. Oh, that was sexy, though. Oh, he's done me again. Oh, I've blocked it. Well done. Oh, god, this is very sweaty. I do apologise for me leaning in like this, but when it's this sweaty, you have to. Jota, hello. I, I was... Trying to get an Alaska there for ages. What is Cap? That's my left back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jota. Oh, he's got to finish it. He's got to bury that. That was insane play from him. Oh, my God. What a goal. Oh, my God. That is an actual beautiful goal. Like, I can't begin to explain how good that goal is. The power shot is awful. His long shots are quite bad overall. But here's Arman dribbling. Like, if you go for an Elastico into a bit of Arman dribbling in them kind of areas like I did there, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What a goal. I'm in again down here. Oh. Oh, Jota. Oh, it's a beautiful goal again, guys. This card is amazing. Feels really, really good in-game. If you need cheap and reliable FIFA 20 free coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER for 5% off. Oh, guys, here's R1 dribbling. He has to score that. He has to score that. That R1 dribbling is bonkers, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a goal. Okay guys, so review is in on Diogo Jota and before I take my thoughts on this card, I just want to quickly show you, I'm going to get loads of comments about it, how I've managed to get this card already. So, I have literally completed every single bit of XP that is available on the game. Um, it's half past nine, so the new objectives are just reset as well. As you can see here, two hours ago it says there, but it's more like an hour and a half ago. I've got to grind it through that, you know, got all of the rival stuff, got rage quits, so on and so forth. But the big key thing here is, and how I've got him already, is because I have the EA Play, which grants you 3k XP straight from the start. So I'm a little bit ahead of some of you guys, and there's no point buying the EA Play now because you'll be have to wait like a week for it to kind of register. So don't bother with it, guys. Okay, Diego Jota, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, he doesn't feel as impactful in game as the Ryan Kent did, for example, but he is lethal. Really good finishing. Really, really, really good R1 dribbling. I love his dribbling. You know, you've done a Elastico with him, straight into a bit of R1 dribbling to kind of turn the defender again. He was so, so good at doing that. It was absolutely incredible. You'll see that via the footage if you want to go back and watch it. I would recommend you do. I do recommend everybody does watch the footage first because I play at very high level. I'm an ex pro, get rank one in champs most weeks. So I do trust my ability to review these cards. And this Jota, you should take over the 84 times 30. Yes, I do know there are cards out now that require so much fodder. Example, case in point, is Ansu Fati here. 
But I prefer Jota to Ansu Fati. Yes, Fati's got better shooting, but that genuinely is about it. You know, when you actually compare them, Ansu Fati's got a lot of free kick accuracy over Jota, so the passing is very similar. Jota destroys him on the dribble, and you can really feel the difference in that in-game as well. So I think Jota is a card that if you've got a team like I do, you know, and you've got a you've got a club like I do, you know, full to the brim with good cards. You know, I review every card that comes out. I would take Jota over the, the, the pack personally, because I feel like he'd be more impactful for you. And it's not just about playing him at striker as well, right? He can play Cam very comfortably. He can play in that centre mid role as a get forward centre mid if you want him to. So he has a lot of utility, this card. And I think that really does add to the value of this season pass player. And, you know, it is one of the most talked about things. Do you take the pack? Do you take Jota? Do you take Jota? Do you take the pack? And for me personally, I've always preferred taking the players because you can get fodder from Fut Champs, Division Rivals. This card is unique. And he feels unique in game, right? Because he doesn't feel the strongest, but he does have instances where he does feel really strong. And then you've got the incredible dribbling, crazy finishing, five star, five star. You don't get that too often on this game, right? A card that looks like this and performs that well in game as well. So I personally think, guys, you should take Jota over the 84 times 30. Unless you're you're looking to complete Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho is better, of course. Uh, but I would take this Jota over almost any of these cards you see here. Maybe other than Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham is a god on new gen. I would certainly go for this card over Tammy on old gen. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's one of them ones really unique, guys. So if you're a Liverpool fan, you're going to take him anyway, right? I do certainly prefer him to Muriel. I didn't really get on too well with Muriel. And they're quite similar, actually, but Jota wins out for me personally. And the only thing is, he doesn't have the premium he can. But, you know, if you've got Canate, if you're good at the game, you've got Canate already, and you know how good he is. So it's very easy to link him up. And he's really fun to play with, right? And that's really what matters. And I know I've said right a lot here. I do apologize for that. I don't know why I put that in my head at the moment. But he's really fun to play with, which is what you want at this stage of the game. You know, we're six weeks away from the AFC. Have some fun, man. Go and pick up this card and enjoy him. He is a 9.7 out of 10. Really fun to play with and really good in game, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell. Should have missed a play review. But, guys, it's going to be it for me for now. Let's take care.